mid-30s. Now this particular vehicle, this is now, uh, they started with a 3.7 millimeter gun, size of the hole, don't forget, if you're new to the subject, when we talk about 3.7 centimeters, that's the hole at the end of the barrel. And they started with a 3.7 centimeter gun, this one is the 5 centimeter gun, so it's a bigger gun now placed on the same chassis. And that was a clever thing about the German tanks in the Second World War, because they had fairly big turret rigs, and that's the size of the hole that the turret sits on, they could put bigger guns on their tanks, and this developed through the war. Now this particular Panzer III, we know it goes out to Libya in early 42. Um, it's got extra armour placed on the front of it, so when again if it's parked up, go and have a look, you can see Again, the Germans are not stupid. There is no point putting thicker armour on a tank. You just need enough armour. It's harder to burn the petrol, so the Japanese went down. 37mm anti tank gun in the turret. You can fire armour piercing, high explosive, a three man crew. You've got a commander in the turret on his own. He's got a machine gun facing forward. Front hull and machine gun on the back of the turret, slightly angled facing backwards. And as it drives past you, you'll be able to see it's got an armoured barrel on it, and that's to protect it. We've already tried it for So Strausler likes the idea of displacement. If you can displace enough water, you can pretty much make anything float. So by putting a canvas screen, he starts with a tetrarch. Like the Panzer division that's going to be doing the breakouts. The problem of how you counter enemy tanks coming the other way, there's much debate about anti-tank guns spread out in the front line, or do we put an anti-tank gun some sort of chassis that can quickly pull tank destroyers. And a tank destroyer command is set up a full hood under uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bruce. The uh, theory is put together, let's have a fast vehicle in the Very good ergonomic design, 
the two guys at the front, both of them can actually drive the vehicle if needed. So dual controls. Now come